garage today and I just want to do a quick little video today using my Ansel MT500 diagnostic tool to show you guys on my 2014 Sportster. Just as a reminder, this Ansel unit does come with several different cables such as Kawasaki, Polaris, and Yamaha and so on. I know I don't have to tell you guys, but whenever you're looking into something to purchase for your bike, always double check that what you're looking into buying does come with the appropriate cables for whatever bike or model that you have so that you know that it'll work for you. The reason why I'm using my Sportster today is because I actually had a question from somebody that has a Sportster and they weren't quite sure where their diagnostic port is, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you where that's at. Okay, so I came around this side so that you can be able to get a better view of what I wanna show you guys. I have the seat off because there are plenty of videos out there on YouTube that will tell you for this particular make and model that the diagnostic port is actually located under the seat. For my particular bike and model, it is not located under the seat. There's also videos that are gonna tell you guys, which I have the battery covered down, that it's gonna be located under here. On this particular bike, it is not located under there either. Um, there's not even room for the cables to be housed there. Now let me go ahead and show you where it's actually located on this 2014 883 Sportster. For this make and model, it is located right here. So that's the diagnostic port. Okay, so I wanna provide just a little bit more information. As I already mentioned, this is the port for our diagnostic tool right here. A lot of the videos out there are going to tell you to look for a, a blank plug that, is, that has a rubber boot. Well, as you can see, here is my rubber boot. I actually have an Vance and Heinz fuel pack plugged into this diagnostic port because we have their exhaust. So if you're out there looking for your diagnostic port and you're not able to find it because you don't have a blank one with rubber boot, it might be because you do have something else plugged into it. So double check all of that. I also want to mention that I removed this fuel pack from this little cubby right here because it fit really nice in there and snug and it was out of the way. Okay, so I have unplugged the fuel pack and I have plugged in the diagnostic tool. I have to always unplug the fuel pack to be able to run the diagnostic tool. I have the bike turned on, I have the diagnostic tool turned on, and I am actually on the home screen right now. There are several different icons at the very bottom, but I'm going to select this icon right here. And that's going to take me to show you what all the various apps that are just available. You have like an Adobe Reader, you have a, a display, um, picture gallery, a calculator. But what I'm going to use for today is the diagnostic um, application. So I'm gonna select that one. Nope. Try again, there we go. And then it comes to this um, particular screen. And from here, you're able to do different things like it has a service area, a personal center, you have a data, data management, you have a support, you have settings, and you have an upgrade. Okay, so I do wanna mention with this upgrade area, when you get one of these brand new out of the box, you do need to select that so that it can do all of the upgrades and it can get you the latest um, information for all the makes and models out there. What I'm going to worry about for today is this mode of diagnostics. So I'm gonna select this icon. So on this screen, it's going to show you some of the various different makes and models um, that you can diagnose. But what I'm going to worry about is the Harley Davidson. So I'm going to select Harley Davidson. And then it comes up to this screen. Once this screen comes up, it shows Harley Davidson. So I'm going to select that and then let it do its initialization and be able to run the diagnosis. So I'm going to select diagnosis on it. I also want to be able to pick the auto scan. So I'm going to select that option. And it's starting to run the process for being able to diagnose this bike. So the tool finished running its diagnostic on this bike. And as you can see, I actually have two faults. I have a BCM board control module fault and I have a speedo module fault. So what that's telling me is that I'm going to have to use this tool to do some research to figure out what's going on with this particular bike so I can get those faults removed. If you're someone that likes to tinker on your own motorcycles and fix some of the things that you can fix, and might be looking for a tool like this, definitely go check out Ansel. We'll have a direct link in the description of this video to take you to their website and you can do some research and see what make or model of the diagnostic tool would work best for you. I definitely wanna thank you guys for watching. As always, have fun and stay safe.